Hello everyone, this is Rafael Villa with designersgate.com and today we're gonna talk about a tool that is really useful for designers and for web developers as well. Uh, especially when you want to create uh, help uh, content with GIFs, this tool create GIFs uh, using your screen and the tool is called screen to gif and you can find it in screen to giveplexcom or in github you can find it on github.com nick manarin screen to give releases um, it's really useful i'm going to show you how to download it how to install it um, and how to use it all right to install screen to give in your computer the only thing that you need is to download the file it doesn't have any uh, installer it's just an executive execute file so it's basically downloading a zip drive that you can download here if you screen to give dot you just click on download and download that file or you can come uh, let me go to the home screen this is where you get when you come to the uh, main screen of screen to give you can download the whole code in here everything that you see here is going to be downloaded there but if the, if the only thing that you need is a tool you just can come scroll a little bit and go here where it says download it here you click there and it will take you to this page is a release up and the releases so you can see all the previous releases but you can download the latest on the top uh, when you click on download it will ask you to, to save it so you just save it I already have a folder that I created on downloads uh, folder STG and save it there once it's done uh, I will open that that folder and you see is a GIF file if you don't have a decompressor to decompress that file uh, my suggestion to you is to download 7 zip 7 dash zip uh, at 7 ziporg uh, make sure that you download it from here if you don't let us from somewhere else they will try to install things that you don't want uh, browser tools and all that stuff that slow down your computer um, but you, you can download and install it and once you install it you can just decompress it I will show you how to decompress when you have the 7 zip install you will get this sub menu that you can get by right click on the computer and then you see extract here when you extract it you see the execute file here there what I do I just copy that execute file and save it in a in a, in a directory uh, and my suggestion in, uh, in, on Windows in a root directory like in your C drive create a folder I call my folder stg and the uh, file I just copy it there now because we don't have any installer you will not be able to um, attach this uh, file to your st star screen star screen if you're a window user and you're used to the st start screen uh, this is something that you cannot uh, attach there because it's not registered in the registry so what I do I just um, right click on, on it and then I said create a shortcut I create a shortcut and then what I do when I create that shortcut I just drag it into the desktop and just save it there and there you have a quick access to the file all the time and to use it is simple I, let, I will show you how to do it but you see how how simple it, it, it is it's not much it's just a it's a very light um, application you just go to the home screen of screen to give dot complex dot com and download it from there but you will get the right latest version here in github because it's hosted here in github uh, I just show in codeplex because this is where I find it first and it's easier to find with this URL screen to give dot complex dot com right. how to use screen to give is simple remember the shortcut that we created that we create is in the desktop right now you just double click on it and a tool will appear this little tool 
and and you can uh, start recording by using using this you click on the recorder and this this little screen will pop up and that screen you can resize it as you like whatever you want to capture in top on what you want to capture it is gonna always be on the top and here you can set the size if you want to be more precise you can uh, res resize it here with and height and how many frames per second do you want and normally you do 30 frames per second and uh, let's do it at 25 per second 20 frames per second and we start recording so now you see how it starts counting on the top this is how many uh, frames are being recorded already and everything is is recording every movement that I'm doing now if I stop and new another tool will pop out and it pops out in my other screen I'm gonna try to bring it here and it's lagging a little bit thanks to cam studio so here is the code <clears throat> you see that it was really quick it taking me time just because the, the screen recorder now you see the gif how it looks and if I hit play in the Betty button you see that it start playing so you you get the advantage that you can save this as a plane uh, as its own uh, uh, project uh, file right now uh, let me stop it and let's save this project and let's say that, let me save it um, in my documents let's see if I get a folder for tutorials or something or tutorial projects and let's save it uh, under a folder say STG and I will not change any file name just keep it like that and now this is safe as a plain uh, uh, STG file for this software but then if you want when you're ready when you're done doing you you can come to the image and you can crop the image you can resize the image if you want it smaller than this but if this is perfect for what you're working on you can leave it like that you can add free drawing you can add text and all this stuff here but the if you when you're ready you just save as and, and this will show up in the in the right side of the screen and then I can just let's look for that folder that I just saved and let's save that test kit we save it we click on save and the encoder will show up and we'll start processing the the file so now it's finalizing processing this file and the file is complete now if I go to open the file I will I could open it in the and then you see the GIF just, just working and the GIF will automatically uh, repeat so if you have something uh, short not as long as this this will will be uh, repeating itself all the time so that's how simple it is to use STG uh, screen to uh, to give and uh, hope you like it hope you enjoy it and I hope that it helps you with all your projects thank you again this is Rafael Bila with designersgate.com happy coding and happy developing